Concentration! Water breathing! Test form! Constant flux! If I can keep closing the distance between us, I can defeat him! Blood demon art. Cutting thread cage. I have no more use for you. Farewell. This can't be how it ends, can it? Am I really gonna die here? This is my gift. Hinokami Kagura! Yo, what's good y'all? It's your boy Nerdame here with another figure review. And if you've seen my um, figure for my top 10 Christmas or top 5, you know, special, um, this was on the list and I'm so glad I was able to pick it up. Uh, it took me a while to even find where you could pick this guy up um, because the price was just crazy high for the longest, but I was able to get a pretty good deal. And here we go. So yeah, today we're taking a look at the, I don't even know at this point, the Aniplex or Buzz Mod uh, Tanjiro from the uh, Demon Slayer series. And I really can't wait to get into this. It's an interesting figure. Um, I had some issues with him when I first received it. Um, but the longer you have him, the more he's definitely gonna grow on you. I, I do still have some issues now that I've kind of warmed up to it still. But uh, yeah. Um, Typically, I would take a look at the box that the figure comes in first, but the box is huge. It's not gonna fit in frame. So uh, we're gonna take a closer look at the figure and then we'll take a closer look at the uh, box he comes in as well. Um, and then also, before we do that, uh, make sure you take a look at my IG. I'll link below, take a look at my TikTok and feel free to comment. Uh, obviously like and subscribe. And if you guys have any suggestions on what you want me to review next, I see your comments about the best Lee Studio custom figures. There are more to come, they're on the way. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Taking a closer look, this is the package that the figure comes in. And the art on here is pretty dope. Um, there's not much on the sides, but where there is art of the figure, it is pretty spot on. Uh, really gives you some creative ideas on what to do as far as um, articulation of the figure and the different poses that you can get him in but yeah pretty simple box um, but not too bad taking a closer look and this figure is dope now um, I love the detail or the stitching on the actual cloth uh, on the back there's even more room for the tail end of his robe uh, so when you're posing him just to make sure that that part is sticking out because then it'll look a little bigger on him type of thing. Um, I even love that there's bendy wire in the cloth, which is cool. So you can get some pretty dope poses out of them uh, for the outfit as well. Here we go. Let's see if we can. But yeah, it's pretty dope. Holds in place pretty well. Uh, you even get a holster for the sword chief. So when you take it, you just want to go ahead and see and slide it in there and it just hangs out back there which is pretty dope um, articulation is pretty nice um, I'm not really sure how I feel about the knees just yet um, but it's not that bad I mean it kind of hides it as far as you know how it looks uh, you get used to it after a while um, I will say that one thing that is kind of annoying is that when you take the head off of the figure, his hairline on the back of his head always freaking pops out and it's annoying as far as pick, putting it back on. So the head comes like, like this and then it has a ball peg right there, or ball joint. And then if you go ahead and pop this off the head. So when you're reattaching the head, or changing the face plates, you want to put the hairline on the bottom part, then you want to take the neck joint and put it in through there, 
and then from there you want to put in the alternate face and there you go um, but that hairline sometimes it, it's annoying as far as trying to put it back on and it kind of just hangs there I wish it was just more connected to the actual head sculpt I think that would save a lot of the trouble um, but either way uh, moving on the jacket when you originally get the figure he has the jacket off which again is pretty nice you could probably even fit this on some of your other figures um, but he comes out the box in this state which is still pretty good good articulation and everything um, kind of bland but I mean as far as making it iconic or similar to the actual figure it's pretty pretty spot on um, one thing that I'm not a fan of is uh, there's a lot of loose parts so you have this kind of floating piece right here which I'm not a fan of um, outside of that um, the legs pop off which is for when he's in his um, kneeling state so what happens is that there are little holes that peg in right here you go ahead and you plug those in right there and he kind of kneels from there but the thing is that because everything is so loose it I don't know after a while it's kind of a pain as far as trying to get it to stick in because it doesn't always want to stick in especially with it being in an angle it's kind of a mess as far as trying to get it to like you'll have to maneuver this part then maneuver this part and then maneuver this part in there I don't know man. it's it's kind of a mess so I since I've gotten the figure I've just kept him in this kind of form and yeah taking a closer look at the accessories and these are all the dope accessories included with the figure um, the katana and the sheath came out really dope um, I low-key think that when I end up selling this guy if uh, I'm really thinking if I can <laughs> sell it without selling the sword and the katana sheath because uh, they just came out super super dope and um, if you have followed my IG you would have seen some of the new pics that I posted where I have my uh, custom Goku figure it literally fits perfectly in the hand on top of that it even fits in in the uh, hand of the um, custom Bessley studio I was gonna say Boruto, uh, Obito figure or Master Man uh, figure, uh, but it's dope. They really killed it. I even love the detail as far as the inside of the, uh, I don't know what this is called, the guard of the uh, katana, um, but it's nice. Really killed it there. Uh, the alternate faces, here are the um, kneeling uh, knees or legs that I mentioned previously. And even the box from Nezuko that she holds in is pretty dope too. It's not even that heavy to be honest. It's pretty light. Uh, you might, you know, notice it in certain poses, but um, it's not too bad. We killed it there. Oh, and then on top of that, he's also included with um, this ring or fire effect. It really would have been dope if he was included with some of his water techniques also. Water breathing! Second form! Water wheel! But um, you never know. In the future, maybe that'll be something that's included. And then he's also included with this fire effect, which I really, really dig. It's come out great. So, yeah. And yeah. Doing a high comparison, here he is compared to my custom SH Figure Arts. Dragon Ball Super Ultra Instinct Master Goku <laughs> from AVT Customs and uh, they fit pretty good in scale. Uh, Tanjiro is going to be fairly short compared to most figures. Um, even in a sense here, let's do the um, this is my custom uh, Kakashi figure from Best Lee Studios. Uh, so figures like these, the scaling is going to look kind of odd um, only because he's so short but he's so wide, I guess, or bulky. Um, so when you put him next to a character like the SH Figure Arts Naruto, I mean, they're the same height, but Tanjiro's way younger than Naruto is at that time in the, in the anime. But um, I mean, it still works. 
And then here he is compared to my SH Figuarts Dragon Ball Super Broly. And yeah, but he fits in pretty good scale. Okay. All in all, this is a dope figure. If you're a fan of him, definitely pick him up. Uh, of course, like I mentioned, there are some issues as far as the legs uh, falling out of the pegs and the um, alternate faces kind of lacking a bit. Um, and really my biggest issue is just that because of how much the price point is, this figure, I was lucky enough to get him around 150, 160 when I was able to. Uh, but originally when I saw him, he was 300 plus. So, you know, for how much you're paying, I definitely would have appreciated maybe a little bit more on the accessory front. Uh, but again, figure is dope. I can't wait to see the other figures in the line and yeah. So that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, take a look at my IG for some previews of some upcoming reviews and got a lot of new custom figures coming up. So just stay patient and yeah, peace.